I cut straight to the chase and tell you about the taste. This is one part protein milk, one part frosty flake, and one part icy honey buns. Now I consider myself a icy honey bun connoisseur. I've dibbled and dabbled in Nancy Cotton, Mr. Freshly's, and of course, the Little Debbie's. Now before you let your pride deprive you of a wonderful breakfast treat, you might want to get with one of your convicted felon comrades and ask them to translate this what you see before you. But I promise you this and I tell you not one lie, it's delicious. Bitch ass niggas talking about they some real ass niggas But them niggas really pussy than a motherfucker Talking about the city never fucking with the home team On guard locked up I ain't hear nothing from them They sit back and watch all your views when you dropping they bitch ass <laughs> Been no years since I heard from you I never heard of you still I'm a holy bitch down like ten toes Gunplay or knuckles I throw from the shoulders I told you I'm colder the door has been open My floor ain't got deadly I'm closer to ghosts Cause my little nigga know that say poaching the whole shit I know I'm ferocious my floor Shout out to everybody that's in here on here just going. What up, T? Click that follow button again and click it already. You too, that boy, DB. Huh? Appreciate the like. Levi Perry. Yeah, y'all go ahead and click the like button, man. Yeah, click that stab button. Click that follow button. Shout out to Detroit. Most definitely. Yeah. So what the business is, man? Y'all enjoying the day? Are you enjoying the day? I am, bro. I am, man. Feel good as a motherfucker. 2 a.m., where the hell you at? Where you at? Shanghai. Shanghai. Yeah, you know what it is, man. Yeah, you know what it is, man. Appreciate that. Oh, I-S-S-A-M. The motivation is mutual, man. Shout out to San Diego. Where's Carney? Appreciate that hard point. Appreciate that. Look, check this out. I'm in the middle of a contest trip. I decided to do a show. I've been decided to do it. But this just then. I'm going to do another one three weeks after that. Oh. Yeah. Said someone unknown. So the workout gotta be crazy. No man, it, it ain't it ain't nothing crazy, bro. It's just consistent as hell. Yeah. I do three shoulder movements. Damn near every day I go to the gym. Lean beef, as lean as you can get it. Lean turkey or uh, chicken. I don't eat too much fish. Just due to the fact that I ain't, I ain't been eating it, or uh, I should and I could, I do have a taste for it now that I think about it. Yeah, eggs, fat-free cheese, so you got a little dairy, you know, protein, that's about it. Yeah. Rice case, rice crispies, and then I, uh, I just think I posted a video on how to make your pancake with just basically all protein. Even I show a way that you can put that shit in the microwave for 30 seconds. If you use on the um, tablespoon of baking powder and a scoop of um, protein. Whip this shit up with some water, put it in the microwave for 30 minutes, 30 seconds. In 30 seconds. If you're using two scoops for a minute, 60 seconds. Six years. I'm eating pancakes that's 50 grams of protein and about four grams of carbs. Hell yeah. With some sugar-free syrup. Delicia, what's up? Shout out to everybody that's in here on here, man. Like the line, follow the host. Yeah, give it a, give it a shot, Trevor. Give it a shot. I done ran through a whole thing of ghost protein in three days. I'm gonna go back again and see and give me another one. Yeah, DJ Khaled that thing. I'm gonna get the Oreo flake. Make me a pancake with dick. I got some marshmallow fluff, because believe it or not, two tablespoons of that shit is only 40 calories. And out those 40 calories, 10 grams of them is inside of it is, is carbs. Just 10. And that's from two tablespoons of that shit. So you know I'm gonna cut up a dick. Yeah, I'm gonna make me a, a Oreo flavored pancake, 25 grams of protein. I'm gonna take that marshmallow fluff and pony thing. Yeah, it might throw some little chocolate chips in there before I put it in the microwave. Man, I'm gonna have a little 25, yeah, 25 gram 
protein. <laughs> Oreo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What you think I ain't? You think I ain't? Appreciate the follow hook, McMillan. Million. God damn, you got a millionaire name. Yeah, you got a millionaire name. Yes, the beard has been awarded to Mr. Huck McMillian. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, no, I ain't. I need some time to turn on the real dirty, man. I'm in Baton Rouge, down. I do virtual coaching, virtual training, meal plans, training programs. That's about it. Give me like another year, 18 months. I'd be ready for the do some, some, some uh, contest prep. You know, for all the clients. I don't know, man. You got a little juice. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, dog. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, too, man. I'm going to do it. Y'all go ahead and click the like button for me, man. Let me get the 5,000 likes for 530. We're on the time frame thing, man. Time is of an essence. Yes. I'm going to definitely shoot the message on these higher transformation as a day. Let's get it done, bro. Let's get it done, man. Click that like button, you can it. Jim DG. Yeah, yeah, I lift. I'm a lifter. What's good for recovery? Rest. Rest, walk, protein. That's good for recovery. And patience. Yeah, yeah. Any type of supplementation that you take that's for recovery, you're still gonna have to rest and drink water. You see what I'm trying to tell you? Just know, anytime you hear a supplement, that, that means you're getting this shit already from a food source of your body, make it already, naturally, internally. You see what I'm saying? And the, the supplement is just supplemented in the dead. It's add on. It's add on. I train for hypertrophy, but I'm not a I'm not a all oh, power lift or oh, I don't look like that. So my rough my my weight it, it varies depending on what I'm doing as far as with my diet. If I'm eating a surplus, then yeah, I'm lifting. I'm lifting it. Uh, currently I'm in a deficit, so right now I'm just repping the set. You see what I'm at? That's all repping the set. Stimulating the muscle. Don't want to tear it up. You know, focus on nutrition, recovery. Be good. What you talking about, Zyra? Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Man, I got a video I just posted this morning. I'm doing full men's physique routine. Check it out. Check it out. I would do a back pose. I'm itching to do it. I don't mind the flicks, but people play all day on here. I don't feel like being played with them. I'm keeping it real with you. I don't feel like being the punchline, the butt of the joke. Not, not right now. Give me a minute that I might not give a fuck. But I still do music, make so fun. Clemente Juarez. Yes, happily I am. Green might be my color. I don't know. My stage shorts, they, they black and white with a little splash of gray. Appreciate that, Ginger Z. Hmm. I get the V taper back. I'm naturally blessed with a small waist, and I train the shit out my legs and my shoulders. I might have to, I might have to order me some. I'm gonna end up with a, with a lot of uh, board shorts because I, uh, I got competitions coming up. I don't want to come out with that old same old thing on, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, she probably did. She probably did. Wait a minute. No, not chicken legs 2XD, 2XDS. No, not the chicken leg, man. No, not the, not the chicken leg, man. Don't do me that. Don't do me that, bro, bro. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> your shoulders naturally wide. Yeah, they, they are naturally wide, but 
not so bad the way you'll be like asking me about my shoulders. I'll tell you that. If I wouldn't train them as consistently and as frequently as I did, you wouldn't be asking me about my shoulders. I'm telling you, I train them every day. <clears throat> Natty like <laughs> Man of God, boy, what you talking about, Coca City 45? Yeah. God did this without Frank Castiglione. <laughs> Chef Al Coca. Max Ben Squad and I don't even know, Jim ZZ. I don't know. I hardly even did lift, if ever. I don't squat. I hack squat. Leg press, leg extension, leg curl. That's it. The occasional body squat. That's it. But look at it though. Look at it though. Look at it, man. Looks like I lift the gym up. Hardly enough, Miss Nika. I mostly train this woman. I don't know what it is. It's like most people that has a personal trainer that out there bunch of people, the majority of them are women. Don't believe me, just think about all the transformation photos you've been seeing. The majority of them are women. Skip man, testosterone bro. That's gonna be my first go-to. That's gonna be my first go-to. Whatever the doctor order, that's what we gonna do. I think that's all I'm gonna need. I gotta stay below a weight cap, dog, with the pump, with the division that I compete in. The spirit team make you go ball, shit no, but that shaving razor and that shaving cream, that shit that ever. Definitely make you go ball. Fuck all right. I wanna do about very and live. What else, what else can I do to add? my routine, you can do multiple things. Anything that you do, you're gonna have to uh, do it consistently. At some point in time, like four to six weeks, it would be best to switch it up, unless you're still progressing from it. If you've seen a progression, progression in performance, progression in uh, weight, and especially in results, stick with it. You see what I'm saying? If it ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm six two, currently 199.2. That was my check-in weight, lowest I've weighed since I've been prepping. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, I'm definitely gonna kill this live or shut the live down. I'm sorry. TikTok gonna roll me out. I'll be 39 next month. Rest in peace, Mr. Smooth, most definitely. I'm a bad rook. We're going to the Maddie competition. Yep. Yep. NPC, not for muscle. July 22nd, three weeks after that, I'm gonna do Cajun muscle. Yeah. Y'all got the nose before my old lady did. I ain't told her yet. I only talked to my coach about it. Yeah. But that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do Cajun muscle August 19th. I was just thinking, that's why I ain't say the date, because I ain't out of my mind. I was like, I don't remember the date, but now I just realized it's the day after my birthday. August 19th. So that means my fucking birthday, I'm just gonna be the last day of prep. It's gonna be the last day of peak week. I'm gonna be starving for my birthday, man. But see the day after? Show day? Oh, uh, yeah. I want the first place prize for my birthday. Yeah, send me off the Nationals. Here, yeah. In the mini off season. Do me that. I don't think Nationals ain't until December. I think I could, you know, get back up to like 215, maintain that. And you know, like eight weeks out, get it off. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, ain't no birthday. Shit, no. Let's see what I'm gonna do. So when people start asking me, if they ask me, because don't nobody really be giving a fuck about old people. But if they ask me what I want for my birthday, I'm gonna say, man, look, I'm trying to compete in this competition. I can leave you to cover the tan. If somebody else asks me, they not gonna ask me. Fuck about the fuck old people. What I want for my birthday, I'm gonna send my needs to pay for that little place in front of the you know, yeah. And the class right there that say, oh, uh, open, yeah. Look at that. Mm. And they got a wall flying around, man, and I had hit it with a wall. Uh, Last walk, but it ain't it ain't give up the ghost. And it's back for revenge. That made the plan like uh-huh. <laughs> Y'all see it? <laughs> Y'all see that shit. Red walks. I don't know where y'all at and how y'all got them, but red walks, man. 
They ain't like the black. The real ones, they pay. And they don't let nothing, they don't let nothing go, they remember. They remember. For real. Like Winterfell. Yeah, yeah, like the Starks. The Game of Thrones. Yeah, the North, the North remember. Them motherfuckers remember, man. Shout out to everybody that's in here on here like the laugh, follow the host. I'm gonna be getting up out of here. My man heard somebody you pay never get so never hit. Fuck who talking about, man. Let them know, man, what they done tuned in to. Let them know they done stumbled across some real certified, yeah. Yeah, for the people who ain't pick, picking up on the lingo, lucky you. You done fell into the right place to engage, to learn a few things, pick up on something from the trenches, but on a high vibration than your usual baby program. You know what I'm trying to tell you? Dark reclusive, you right. You right. I'm natural, but this shit not normal. It's not. Appreciate that, uh, Kevin Wade, 856. Okay, for real, though, how you get your chest like that? Genetics? I train my chest. I train it. What you see right now is the result of a very deep deficit. What is it, four weeks out? Over? I've been in a deep deficit for eight weeks, man. I've been in a thousand calorie deficit for eight weeks. I've been doing 30 minutes of cardio after an hour and a half training session, six days out the week, five days of that cardio. See what I'm saying? I do long cast service work, so early in the morning I'm 25, 35 pounds dunk on um, weed eater for hours at a time. Fast. You see what I'm saying? Good shit. Basically, I just do the shit that they tell you to do to get like this on Google. If you Google how do I get like this, everything that that shit say, most people they bullshit with some of them. They do the workout part, they do the protein and the creatine part for a little while. For a little while. They don't do the recovery part, my God, if they do the nutrition part. When it comes to the nutrition part, they say fuck what science says. They do what they say on TikTok. All oh, you gotta get, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a dirty ball. The fuck? Look at who you got that shit from. They look dirty. They look dirty. Look at this here. This shit clean and pristine. Fuck me. Appreciate that, Junior Makota. Makot. Wish I could look like this, but it'll never happen. Shit, not shit. Of course it'll never happen. You saying that shit. Of course it'll never happen. You saying that shit. Man, you know how when you when you was like a kid and you heard people use certain phrases and you ain't know what the fuck it meant, but this shit sounded like, you know, philosophical and then you, you it stuck with you as a kid. One of the ones that stuck with me was never say no. Fuck me up as a kid. I was like, wait a minute, do my mind. Never say never? But you just said never. Twice. That's what I asked my my, my car rain, my godfather, you know what I mean? But yeah. You get where I'm going with it? <clears throat> Shit, I fast every morning for as long as I can. This is this a struggle. It's not a definite thing, bro. Saying, okay, I'm gonna try fasting like this. You fucking right, trying. I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna fast. Okay. Okay. See it all nine to lot. Like that. See when breakfast time called? Breakfast time, bitch and eggs. Yeah, right, ciao. Hey, God forbid anybody else in your household cooking while you home. Yeah, good luck with this shit. Yeah, you'll find your nirvana. Yeah. Learn something about yourself. Get down by no island, boy. I done seen they, I done seen they um, names come up with some funny bunny shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to discuss them. <laughs> I don't even want to discuss them. Because they discuss them. Yeah. So I'm going to put you up. <laughs> if you don't drop another story song. <laughs> Damn, bro, bro. <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you. And when that day comes, dog, this is going to be just what the game needs. I'm going to be talking about the health and fitness shit when I'm, when I'm rapping. Yeah, I ain't heard a nigga do that yet, but this shit going to be fly though. Cause the people that live, they gonna get that shit. Yeah. Shit, shit. Fuck right. 45 clicks, but I use to pay my feet. Think I'm on or something, mix that creatine with pre. Yeah. Puerto Rican, no. Creole.
Jerry Molet. I got calves, dog. I got calves. They back up. Quit playing with me, man. Quit playing with me, man. Playing with my time. Fucking cat. Jill. <laughs> All right, shit. Boy, if I show my calves, best believe I'm gonna lure this tripod to make sure that angle is right. You gonna see them bitches how you're supposed to sound. Yeah, yeah. I ain't tripping on that shit, Elite. I look good as a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I look good as a motherfucker. I was doing standing calf raise on the machine three months ago. A lady tapped me on my shoulder while I was in the middle of the set. Yeah, old lady, old white lady. I say, son, your, your legs. I'm like, man, I'm breathing hard, but I did about 50 reps. And I know what she's seen. Striations in the calf look like something wrong. Look like she's look like something wrong. I thought the woman just said, sir, you want a protein snack or something? Or at least some water? See, you, you ripped, son. You ripped to the bone. I said, yes, ma'am. I do what it do. Let it go. And I slid up off that thing. <laughs> you a McFatty right now? But won't you get a, 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 a McFitty? Get McFit. Yeah. Get you some fitting nuggets. <laughs> yeah. Get off the big back from eating them big mats. Get you a fit back. Yeah. Trade in that big back, <laughs> that big back for a fit bit. <laughs> and get your steps in, man. Quit playing. Quit playing. You want me to tell you something, bro? Fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck you up. People that ask questions that they know the answer to. They they know the answer. They know the answer entails hard work and some shit that they ain't about doing. So they ask a question hoping that somebody give them an alternative, which is no hard shit. You see what I mean? And I say that to say this, because people ask me all the time, how do you do this, how do you do that? Fuck this, you know how. You have to exercise. Yes, the hard work shit, the everyday shit, that's the shit that you have to do. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know you're so used to instant gratification this day and age, but you cannot order this fucking unique physique from off Amazon. You can't even get a cheap one from off of Timo. Don't act like you don't know what the fuck Timo will. The motherfuckers had me pressing spin on them motherfuckers, sending invites to people and shit. Now I don't know Timo, so I can get five points. Hell yeah, I was trying to get them to 140. Oh, you know how much protein I can get with that? So stop playing out your mind and the money pass you by, but that's enough of that and some of this say, yeah, if you're trying to lose weight, get you a calorie deficit, get you a gallon of water, if you're male or female, or somewhere in between. So I'm trying to tell you, get you a gallon of water. Protein you need, 0.8 of a gram, or a gram. Per back, per, per one pound battery. Weight 150, get you 150 grams of protein a day, gallon of water. Sound like a lot, but it's not, like I say. I'm showing you how to make protein pancakes, 25 grams of protein, man. I'm trying to tell you, bro, all you need is some add water pancake mix. That's it. Shit that say add water. Whatever flavor protein you like. Currently, I'm using Ghost of Cereal Milk, but I was. I ran out of it. Before that, I was using a basic vanilla that you can find at your local Albertsons, Walmart, neighborhood Walmart. For those of you who got it like that, or Trader Joe's and or Whole Foods, you know, if you're from down here my way or Shoppers Value, Piggly Wiggly, Win Dixit. Like right now, I have a bad headache. I'm trying to do it. Drinking some water. Drinking some water. Now, I've ever thought that maybe a headache might not be that you have an actual pain in your head. It might be a sign. Kind of like your body's dashboard saying, hey, you might need to check in. No, ain't nothing wrong with the engine light itself. But the engine light is just an indicator that you run it low on some other shit. Probably sleep, water, food, good food. Some shit like that. I don't know, give it a try. I'm just saying, man, I ain't never seen, ain't never seen no, no medication that said dry swallow. That shit always say take with, with uh, at least eight ounces of water on with some food. Tell me ain't that. Get some water, man. Quit playing, man. 
better wake up, come out you fucking woke. How woke is you? How the fuck woke is you? How? How the fuck is you woke, man? When they had them fucking grown up happy meals at McDonald's, them motherfuckers had a land going up around this bitch. Think I'm lying. If Popeyes do any more diabolical shit with that chicken, we gonna really see. Who was who? Ah, that's shit, man. I'm gonna be 39 in the month, man. I'm an OG out there for playing with me. How old is you? How old is you? I want to like sometimes. Too many of you motherfuckers ain't got shit to do. I'm gonna fuck with you, man. <laughs> I love y'all, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an unk move. That's what unk do. Talk to your ass like you ain't here. Come on, man. I love y'all, man. Yeah. Or is it just me? I became crazy. Huh? How do I grow my chest, boss, man? You got to train it the best. All right. If that's what you really want to do, you want to focus on your chest. That means you want to prioritize it. So that means you want to you want your training program to be focused on that. You see what I'm saying? So what you want to do is see how frequently you can actually train your chest, let it recover, and train it again. Because you want it to grow, and I'm assuming you want it to grow as fast as possible. So as fast as the body can allow this shit to happen. It's going to be three to four times a week. That's a lot, especially for people who's training their chest once a week. Think about that. You implement this shit just three times a week, bro, and in, in one month you'll been to put in the work, the sets, the time of three months of training from the average person that's on a growth split. That's with the recovery and all. Don't believe me, look it up. Like I say, this shit is on Google, dog. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to everybody that's in here on here, man. Look alive. Don't be surprised. This is not a test. This is not a test. Yeah. Do the work. Great. Take a while, I guess. Push-ups every day, get the business done too. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't advise it. It's so much fun, you know, actually using weights. To me, it is. But push-ups every day get you right to a certain degree. What's that meal plan looking like, dog? It's really looking at however you want it to look, really. Really? What's your gender, height, weight, activity level? I act with you else through the week. What's your by current body fat percentage? You see what I'm saying? And what are your plans? How much weight do you want to lose and, and, and how long do you expect for it to take? Because that's going to determine how many calories you can get. You see what I'm saying? And that's what a meal plan is based off of. So if you're supposed to be consuming 2100 calories a day in order for to see weight loss or for to reach your goals, you need to make a plan. You need to see how many days, how many times out of the day that you actually realistically can see yourself eating in a day. Now, how many times you want to eat in a day? How many times you see yourself really eating in a day? Yeah, we divide that shit up in the in in most nutritional way that we can. At 2100, if you can eat three times a day, then we're going to break that shit up in three meals. And then we're going to reassess in a month after we redo your, your stats. Most definitely. That's how that goes. It's a, it's a process, man. It's not magic. It's not like personal trainers and fitness gurus or fucking magicians and shit. That's not the case. We just know the process. That's it. And we have to not be lazy to be on your case to, to hold you accountable. That's our job. You see what I'm saying? I'm not giving you this information, signing you up and being, oh, I'm a high lesson. You see what I'm saying? You got most clients that'll do that shit. Sign up, pay you, you tell them what they need to do, and you don't hear from them again. That shit blows my mind. But people do it. They've been doing it. Getting gym memberships, never going, buying exercise equipment, and never using it. So it makes sense. What you mean, that's a lot? That's a lot of information, huh? I know it is. I know it is. The trainers use that shit, too. They use that fitness jargon. For the overwhelm with you with words, make them sound so goddamn highly educated off of this shit. Which it is some valuable information that they pay for, true enough. But still, you're not gonna be able to retain that shit. That's just to impress you and finesse you out of paying them for, for some shit that you really do need. Which I'm not saying that this all this shit is a fault on trainers. I'm, I'm not. 
because it's, it's kind of fucked up that we have to convince you that this is good for you. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> that you actually really want. That's not that hard. It's only a pill. Yeah. I eat this basic shit that's on the uh, food pyramid, that short wheat bread, or uh, fat free cheese, or uh, fat light protein milk, the basic green beef, ground turkey chicken, occasional fish, occasional. You see what I'm saying? And I do my thing with the protein snacks that I make now. I make them myself. Yes. Everyone stop commenting. Damn, Lorenzo. Who the hell made you a uh, live comment leader? I missed the election. I missed it, dog. How old were you when you started taking it serious? Like, for real? Oh. I was doing it seriously, but I wasn't taking it for real. I did it because it was one of the few things that I had to do at the time. I ain't had shit else to go. I recently just started taking this shit serious two years ago. The first year was due to health. This time last year, literally about this time last year, my current coach hit me up on Instagram and was like, man, let's get you on stage. And when he asked me that question, I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. So I went back, what you mean? On stage just went down from there. I ended up competing and it's, it's been it. Yeah. I mean, I don't too much check to see if this shit is organic or not, but I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, like, how organic can some strawberries be? You see what I mean? Like, fuck, how organic do you want your eggs? Fuck, like, I look at the, at the nutritional facts to see what I'm gonna be putting in my bag. You know, how many macronutrients, vitamins, and things of that nature. On the real. Because when they tell you all losing weight is about calories in, calories out. Ah, yes it is. But what type of calories? All calories are not the same, my man. All calories are not the same. You got some foods that's full of fat and nothing else. You got some things you can put in your body that's full of calories but don't even have fat in it. Like soft drinks, they don't hold no nutritional value. None whatsoever. You have some foods that's high in carbohydrates that you might think are so bad when they're actually good for you, especially if you're doing and following a, a consistent training program. Carbs are gonna be necessary. You see what I'm saying? I tell you this, just from my experience, and I don't tell people this shit because it sounds cocky to people who struggle with being in a deficit of a contest pro. I'm having the time of my life. I never ate this fucking food. You mean to tell me, uh, and I was, my coach wanted me to eat, eat six times a day, but I can't do that, man. I ain't got time to sit down and fucking six times a day talking about eating some food. I'm too hyper for that. I'm too hyper for that. Shit, no. Plus, I'm institutionalized. When I hear time to eat, that mean I got to get up, go way the fuck out there, sitting big ass. I ain't, no, no, that shit doesn't give me PTSD. Shit, no. So I eat four times a day. You know what I'm saying? And I be feeling guilty, like when I get to my third meal, I be feeling like, man, I feel like I done ate too much. And the whole time, man, the man ate enough is because the food, man, that shit pressure, bro. Like, you know what the fuck five egg whites and two real eggs look like? What a two breakfast turkey sausages and two slices of some meat bread. You know how much food that is on the plate? Especially if you make an omelet in a big skillet, boy, that big gonna be big. Then I've been making that 25 gram protein pancake, putting it at the bottom, of, you know, on the plate first. I put that on the plate first, like it's like, like a layer of the plate. Then I put the rest of the food on our yeah. Shit, shit. I call that bitch a bust down McGrill. Yeah. Put the turkey sausages on in there, omelet with that fat free cheese, fold them up while it's still frying, flip them over, make sure it's melted all inside. Yeah. Shit, shit. Put that Caesar salad on there. Put it on top of the protein pancake with that sugar-free syrup. Yeah, bust down the grill. Yeah, bust down. <laughs>